What's up, Gemini gang? Happy Thursday, you guys. All Gemini placements. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation. Okay? Personal readings in the description box, you guys. Personal readings are in the description box on the website. All right? Please check that out, you guys. Um, hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes, hit that subscribe if you haven't already. You are greatly appreciated. Thank you for being here. Y'all know what it is. So we have 33 here. I love it. This is my life path number, aka six. Okay. So this is about love, but 33 is a master number, also a master teacher. So building your world, creation, expansion, and networking. Love it. And then we have a button on the bottom so we have fortune wealth and plenty okay he got plenty money so let's see what's going on here dear gemini's some of you are building your world you are manifesting i love to see it all right so let's see what's going on with you here so or was I? Creation Expansion Networking. A priestess of the bees. And I mean bees as far as like bumblebees because you can't see. So, so y'all not thinking it's like just the letter B. So this is priestess of the bees. V-E-E-S. Sits peacefully in the hollow of a tree. Gathering the energy of the bees that fly around her and rest on her fingertips and third eye. She's surrounded by the honeycomb and through her vision is turned inward. Her thoughts are focused on outer plans taking shape. The bee is one of nature's most industrious creatures. And this card foretells a time of great productivity and expansion for you. If you've been thinking about growing your business or creating an entirely new one, uh, focus on those intentions now. Your dreams may also include composing music, writing, teaching, painting, cooking, or baking. Oh, y'all, I've been on y'all ass about this. I also touched on this uh, in the collective reading, y'all. So check out the collective reading. Usually the collective readings go up in the evenings. So like 6, six or 7 central time. So I touched heavily on that in the collective read today. All right. Um, where am I? Where was I? Uh, there we go. Which are all projects that build on ideas and produce nectar for the body, mind, and soul. They do require repeated attention and action. So take time to create a plan, set goals, and bring forth the creative and technical elements together. The B is also a symbol of fertility. So the expansion foretells here may relate to family matters. Our child or children on the way new in-laws through marriage or even reconnecting with distant friends or relatives are all ways that you can expand your personal network on a practical level this card could also indicate a career or in architecture design or construction it could also signify connections with people who do such work you may even be building a new house or expanding your present one the bees join together to assemble their hive and structure and provide for their community increase, increasing value for all. Now is the perfect time for you to build the world you desire. So make your plans and set to work. The affirmation for this card is, I have the power to create my world and prioritize the projects that I desire. As I continue to take action, my joy and fulfillment expand. Wow, I am in love with that one. I don't think I've ever pulled this one for you guys because I don't remember reading that um, about the bees and stuff. So yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that one. Um, like I said, 33 is my life path. So that's always a vibe. Five of swords here. Hmm. So I'm seeing the devil here on the bottom. So Gemini's be mindful of jealousy. Okay. Also, you may have to get rid of some people that aren't on the same wavelength as you. Okay. Now I do love that the six of swords is coming after the five of swords. So you're going to be healing something. You're walking. You are leaving something behind. Um, something that's not serving you, whether it be career, whether it be love, whether it be whatever it is. Six of wands here on the bottom. You're going to get a victory of some sort. Um, this can also be like you being seen a lot. The tower. Oh, 
Gemini's. <laughs> you being seen a lot. Mm-hmm. The high priestess, yes. Now I'm also seeing the three of swords here uh, on the bottom. So some of you guys may be trapped in negative thoughts or negative thinking, um, Gemini's. But I also feel like too, some of you guys may be ignoring your intuition, which is which is never good. Like that's never a good thing, uh, Gemini. Some of you guys need to go with your intuition, okay? Two of Swords, yes, the Hierophant, mm -hmm. Five of Pentacles here on the bottom. So I feel like someone may be wanting peace with you after something has happened between you two or you want to like rectify a situation with someone. It could be a Taurus, Gemini's. It's like you, some of you may get an apology from someone or someone's going to like pay you back or, uh, or, um, give you something to like make up their seat. Now, didn't we see the tower earlier? Yikes, 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 yikes. Why do I keep getting that? Some of you guys are like broken hearted. Um, either you are or someone in your energy is, uh, Gemini's. Take that how it resonates with you. Um, hold on, let me get one for the high priestess. I'm seeing the, the crashing down of somebody's belief system too. Mm -hmm. The moon. <clears throat> and I'm seeing the sun here as well on the bottom. So now the sun and the moon is divine masculine, divine feminine energy. That I feel like is some type of balance that could be needed. I, I think this was the same energy... I had this in another reading. I'm not sure if it was the collective read I did today or if it's something else, Gemini. I don't remember. Y'all probably remember better than me. But I feel like, um, first of all, there's something on the subconscious level here that is needing to be healed, uh, Gemini. If you were wondering what your blockage is as far as your prosperity and stuff like that, it could be something in your subconscious. You may have to deal with... Um, some type of family stuff, like something you were taught growing up about money. And I'm just using money as an example, okay? So a lot of times when we are children, we absorb a lot of things from our parents. Um, even, you know, traumas and things like that can be passed down through the DNA. Thought patterns can be passed down through the DNA. It's interesting because um, I, I've done readings and I've done one-on-ones for like, like mom and daughter before. Um, and the similarities between the two is uncanny, not just with just how they look, but how they think, like their thought patterns. Uh, it, it's insane. So that, that kind of made me like study more about that um, and, and how different things are passed down through the DNA. But not only are your looks and things like that passed down through the DNA, but you can pass down thought patterns. So if your parents came from a lack of mentality, uh, it's very, very possible that you will have that as well. Okay, so I feel like there, there's something here that in your subconscious, uh, Gemini, that is needing to uh, be brought out with this, uh, with the sun card, cut card, card here is, is needing to be brought out, um, Gemini. Okay, so, mm, shall we have the five of wands? The Hierophant again, the Queen of Pentacles, and I'm seeing the Death card here. So something is changing about you. Some of you are going to get, now this is what I'm getting. With this, it's so similar to the Collective Read. I feel like this is like some type of sudden attention that you get, Gemini's. Now in the Collective Read, I talk about somebody possibly going viral, okay? This, this gives me the same vibe of something subtly taking off for you, uh, Gemini. You may not even know how to handle it. You may not even know how to handle, you know, one day feeling like you're being ignored. One day you feel like, you know, nobody is, is say you do music. You're like, nobody's fucking with my music. Nobody's listening to my music. And it's just like one, one thing you put out, it's, it's just going to take off, uh, Gemini. And you may not know what to do with that <laughs> with that energy okay 
Um, now you see how the Hierophant, now in this one is not so much, but in this Hierophant is there's people in this card like praising him. So I feel like Spirit put this out because it's not in this card. This card doesn't have the people on the bottom, even though the Hierophant meaning is, you know, is still a thing. But I feel like Spirit wanted to point out that you're going to have people like them, they're worshiping you. All right. So keep that in mind. I feel like you're about to be put in a different space financially as well. Um... Gemini's and this is so similar to, to the collective read. I mean with the death card here Like I said, it's something uh, like a huge change for you um, Gemini's take that how it resonates for those of you that do something as far as your business goes the moon again You do something as far as your business goes or if you do something like this social media um, All that good stuff But you got to get out of your these negative thought patterns. Mm -hmm. Five of Cups here. And of course, I knew this was going to come out. I thought this would be out before the Five of Cups. The Ten of Swords, uh, Gemini's. Now, what I'm liking about the Ten of Swords is this. I feel like um, you're putting an end to something, Gemini's. It, and it could be... Um, a, a thought pattern that has been passed down could be on your mom's side with the moon here um, a, a thought process or something like you healing some type of pattern uh, in your family bloodline uh, Gemini's but I also get like I said some of you guys may just automatically go towards Nick because this this the three of swords here with the High Priestess, Five of Cups, Moon is giving heavy negative thoughts, like negative thinking, negative uh, self-doubts, um, always, always downing yourself, always thinking down on yourself, always thinking you're not capable and all of that. Like that needs to go. Now with the sun here on the bottom, like I said, I feel like a lot of things that you have been battling with subconsciously is about to start coming up. But they, this coming up is a good thing. Because it's going to be able to stop it with the Ten of Swords over here. Now, the Ten of Swords is about, and I've said in other readings, like literally putting, 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 being put out of your misery in a, in a nutshell. Okay, it, it's metaphorically though. <laughs> it's not. It's not a uh, real. Okay, it's not a physical thing metaphorically because you know after you know the Nine of Swords is the stress, is the anxiety. You know, staying up late at night thinking and 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 um you know stressing and and being depressed and and all these other things and feeling all this stuff and then you get to the 10 which is like you know what let me end all this pain yeah by by pretty much ending it all but like i said this is a metaphor because what is she thinking about here <laughs> then i saw 13 13 when i looked over which is the death card you're ending something, Gemini's, and I feel like it has to do with something if, with your DNA, your thought pa patterns. Something about you is completely changing, Gemini's, and going forward, it's going to be a totally different, your, your bloodline is going to be totally different, um, Gemini's. You could be dealing with a divine counterpart, too, because you have the high priestess here and the hierophant. Yep, or again, this just could be a balance, your balance, because uh, we see the divine masculine and feminine here as well. This could be you coming balanced uh, with yourself, uh, Gemini's, or you connecting with someone that is doing the same thing that you're doing, that is meant to do, <clears throat> meant to do the same thing that you are doing, um, Gemini's. But after this, there, the only way you can come from this is up. You can't, you can't, you don't get any lower than this. Okay, and I feel like Gemini's you may have hit rock bottom. Okay, so once you have done that, you have no other way to go but up. But I also feel like you need to turn your pain to profit. You need to turn your pain to your um, your uh, endeavors. You need to put your pain into your your uh creative work you need to put your pain into your writing you need to put your pain into your music you need to put your pain into your uh business 
okay so transmute all that energy to something else because i feel like with you doing that it's going to put you in a very very good uh position some of you may have had like some type of financial hit of some sort and i see you coming out of it but you really need to change your thought process your thought patterns because that i feel like is what is holding you back um gemini's <clears throat> I wonder if I have my money cards down here because I sure will uh, pull um, nothing flipped over. So why did it sound like? But look what I'm seeing, you guys. <laughs> Man, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Okay, so there. Thank you, spirit. So uh, see, I'm seeing the star. I, I kind of really wanted to to kind of see more energy for here. So. You are going to heal this Gemini's, but it's hard. It's And sometimes it feels like life is harder for someone that is here to break these patterns, uh, Gemini's. Okay, so you're like literally breaking the patterns um, for your bloodline. Okay, I also feel like... Um, be careful of self-sabotage. But like I said, this, this could be something that you inherited. And I feel heavy like it's pay attention to your mother, uh, Gemini's. Okay, if you if you have a relationship with your mother, if you remember your mother or have her, how was your mom's thought process? What about your mother um, do you also do that you feel like it may not be serving you? This this is a time to be honest with yourself. Like if if your mother had a very had a negative thought process like around relationships or around love or whatever the case may be think about that because you might be harboring a lot of that and you may not even realize it okay so i feel like you're gonna have to pay it very very close attention to this because i'm seeing something um changing for you drastically <laughs> i'm losing my voice can't have that. Cannot have that. Can make my tea. Okay. Oh, mm hmm. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> All right. So let's see what we got going on here. So we have on the bottom, we have bonfire, which is sad. This one is about, you know, energy, intense, ignite, passion. Um, Gemini, yeah, finding something you're passionate about, finding something you love. Now, what I like about this is we have the blinders, which is Libra, victim mentality, confusion, tunnel vision, resist clarity, confirmation bias, restriction, narrow focus, echo chamber, denial, oblivious, out of touch, hyper focus, and concentration. So, like I said, some of you guys are going to have to be honest with yourself about what it is that you need to heal. Um, also, like I said, I, I feel heavily like pay attention to your maternal side, Gemini's. Okay, because you're not a victim. Um, you know, turn like I said, turn your turn your pain to profit. Turn your pain to something that can number one help you, but also help other people, uh, Gemini's. Okay, and then we have beehive here, which is diligent, persistent, stamina. Application, tireless, mindful, hard work, devoted, fruitful, busy, conscientious, I can never say that word, energetic, continual, harvest, endurance, effort, patience, and concentration. See, this, what's interesting is the end of this card says concentration and the end of this one says concentration. So, I feel like you're definitely going to have to work hard to get out of this energy, Gemini's, but you being the one to change Cause you're the one Gemini so if you're watching this you're the one to change the dynamic of your family or where, wherever you come from you are here to change the dynamic so it's it's going to seem like life is harder for you uh Gemini it's going to seem like it's it's um harder for you to um to do anything uh Gemini or to see any result but once those once those results results hit it's going to be insane you guys it's gonna be insane like I said I'm seeing something like taking off massively um, and so much to where you can't even um, <clears throat> you can't even um, damn 
you won't even be able to handle it. That one's on the top, but <laughs> I really want to take get some of these because um, okay. So we have um, Magic Mirror here, which is public persona. I told you, damn, I'm good. But this one, man, um, this one is public persona. You are the product, sales, social media, speaker, and leader. I told you. I told you, Geminis. <laughs> so this one is medicine. And I literally just said this. Literally just said this shit it's un it's insane you guys so this one is healing money blocks reprogram that's what you're doing subconsciously gemini's open to receive healing arts and shadow work holy fucking shit then we have dimensions exploring different worlds many jobs plus skills spirit work travel worldly and wealth <laughs> Then we have nourish, feed your heart and mind, right livelihood, best job, giving satisfied and full life. All right, Gemini's, hit those likes, hit that subscribe, y'all. Thank you for watching. Peace out.